Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm just in the office here trying to figure out and get stuff organized for opening day of archery, which is in about a week. So we've got a lot of stuff to get done. A lot of things to go through to get ready to make sure we're ready for opening day. The first weekend, it's just gonna be a weekend trip. We've got a longer trip planned for the end of the month. So we'll be trying to film as much as we can. Right now, I'm just sitting here trying to figure out what we need to do because I've got gear all over the place. I've got stuff down here. I've got a new backpack. We got to try to set up cases. We might even go and try to shoot the bows one more time before next weekend. So hopefully this weekend we'll get one more day in of practice. We've been practicing quite a bit in the last couple months. Got to get some gear ready. Got to get the, the fifth wheel packed up and we'll bring you along to just kind of show you what we do. So what I think I'm going to do first is I'm going to kind of just sit here and play with my packs. Kind of transfer everything over from my old one to my new one. This year I went and got this Mystery Ranch Pop-Up 28. It's a little bit smaller pack. I've been using the Tenzing 4000. So I'm going way down from what it was. Tenzing wasn't as comfortable as a pack for me. I've been using it the last eight years. But it's not as comfortable to me. So I'm going to try out this Mystery Ranch. Never used it before. Hopefully it's a, a little more comfortable pack. Plus there's a lot of extra stuff that I don't need in this pack. And maybe consolidating it down into a 2800. Which is basically almost half the size of what I was using. So hopefully everything crosses over and I have more than enough room in my new pack and it's comfortable to use so let's get started so we'll just go through and i'll show you just a few things that i carry along for just a day trip and i'm going to take a bunch of this and put it into this pack and just kind of see how everything fits but for starters what i usually carry an extra knife some rubber gloves my elk calls i use usually carry a couple flashlights different types you have a whole bag of extra batteries hey mainly for the headlamp and for my flashlight carry a lot of spare calls right here so i have a couple different spare calls here carry a first aid kit with advil some medicine toilet paper i also carry marking tape just in case you do get something down and you want to mark where it is and have to go back in the next day i like to have marking tape just so i can mark the spot and get back to it the next day i have a compass just in case my phone fails because i do have a compass on my phone fire starter just in case something happens i get stuck out in the woods for a while i have a fire starter and that's all i got for these small pockets larger pockets just a normal tarp game bags this year i'm changing game bags they're actually a little bit heavier than what i'm going to so i'm changing some quarter bags to these born and raised bags because they have zippers on them and maybe a little more accessible but i always carry bags with me solar charger to charge my phone and batteries that I might have with it. I do have, I usually carry some trash bags with me just for the off chance I need small game, trash, whatever I have. I have a fresh water straw. I have a water pump that I can pump and filter the water out of any stream that I'm by. And I've got a lot of paracord that I take with me. Normally I have a tarp that I put in here. Um, so I'll have the tarp along with the game bags. Um, I also carried in these little tiny pockets an out, another out call. And on this side, I carried my range finder, but I brought a brand new case for my binoculars. So I'm gonna be putting that in that case and my scentless chapstick, cause this is really important for me cause my lips get chapped when I'm doing a lot of calling and then my water bladder so we'll be transferring all of this stuff over to the new pack we'll see how it fits and once i get it all put in where i want it i'll we'll get back with you and i'll show you how i did it oh i also forgot on each side of the bag i've got my saw i have my knives on this side so we'll be moving those over as well so i have this pack all filled up i have all my knives stuff that I can access real quick and easy in here stuff that I don't access as much as in here and then the main pack is full of all my tarp and all my other stuff right now I'm looking at it and I think the 28 is going to be too small so I found one in town that's the 38 which is a little bit bigger be a step down from the 4000 on the tenzing tomorrow I'm gonna go see if I can pick up the 38 
return this one and try and set it up the same way this one is, put all my stuff in it, see if that's gonna work for me. But for right now, I'm on hold because it's late at night and I can't go to the store, so we'll do that tomorrow. It's the next day. Went to the store, picked up my pop-up 38. Looks a lot bigger than, of course it is bigger than my 28. Load that up here shortly. First, what I think we're gonna do is head to the archery range. Go get some shots in, make sure everything's still good with our bows, and we'll come back and start going through this pack, loading it up, and looking at other gear. So we're here at the range. We'll get everything set up. Kind of busy for a Sunday, not too bad. But we'll get things set up here, get our targets out, shoot some arrows. First set of arrows I shot, you really couldn't see it. I tried to do a slow-mo, but it didn't turn out real good, so. We'll see how much we can get filmed. It's been some couple hours here shooting these targets. Film what we can and then head home and start going through gear. I think I still might be a little low. That one's center, almost yeah, the top one. deck. Low right. Nice part is, is it? Yeah. So. Click, click, click. I think I might have to bump my sight down a notch. I pulled that one. Yeah. I'm Yeah, we're we're close to Grand Junction. It's hard in Colorado to find non-pressured public land, but also land that doesn't have a road going through it some way, shape, or form. Four-wheeler road. But it's, That's how it is, like, but it's a lot less populous now. Every hole was ours, and then we were pulling fish left and right. And seeing those holes, it was great. Yeah, I've, I've gone on Onyx so many times that trying to find places that are a couple square miles worth of property to be able to just walk. We're back from the range. It was a good day of shooting. But now I'm back here in the office, and now it's time to take all of this that I've got that I took out of my old pack and put it in the new History Ranch Pop-Up 38. So let's get this pack organized and when I've got everything put in the way I want and where everything goes to see how well it fits. All right, so I've got my backpack somewhat organized. Um, I might have to rearrange it a couple different times to where I will like it because it doesn't have any small little zipper pockets or anything like that to keep small stuff organized so it just kind of floats around but what I have right now is is a smaller pouch that's right here in the front I have my extra calls first aid kit compass batteries things like that this bigger pouch on the top I've got all my knives saws and marking tape and then if I go put zip these up and then I flip this up and open this bag up has a nice little zipper here on the side and on the inside here is where I keep my is where I'm gonna have my tarp game bags and rope in it and then this front pouch is gonna have all of the other little things the knickknacks my solar charger my uh, filtration my 
and things like that. So those are the places that I'm gonna have those set up. But for right now, I think that's how we're gonna run this pack. Um, it still gives me a lot of room to be able to take a heavy jacket off, stuff it down in the backpack, have still have enough room for that. Like I said, this year's gonna be my first year running the Mystery Ranch, never used it before. Kind of curious, hopefully it's not too bad of a pack it'll work out good for me we'll just see and kind of go through it and use it and and hopefully find out that this is the one that works if not we just go and we'll find another pack we'll use this one for a couple years used to it and see what happens with it so i might be reorganizing some things every once in a while might add some little bags or something find some little bags to kind of keep the stuff locked together but that's the way my backpack's going to be set up all i have to do is start going through the rest of my gear to make sure we have enough spray we have enough scentless wipes get my binocular case set up things like that For the most part we're just going to finish up packing and getting ready for opening weekend which i'm really excited for so i've just been sitting here going through our last little bit of stuff that we need to prepare for next weekend I'm just sitting here going through this little box of stuff that has a lot of scent-free wipes, hats, extra straws for our camelbacks, um, all the bugles, a lot of, uh, there's a couple um, game bags in here. There's this brand of game bag and then there's another brand. Just a little few knickknacks and things that we need when we're up hunting all of our sprays. But I think that's gonna finish this video. We got a lot of stuff done this weekend. It was fairly important. Still have to set up some arrows, but I think we're ready to go for next weekend, which I'm really excited about. It's opening weekend, and hopefully we'll get some good footage for you. So, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel a lot. Don't forget to leave a comment down below because we would love to hear what your thoughts are. And don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next Wednesday.